Welcome back. Chrissy Teigen, already a best-selling author, is out with her most personal cookbook yet. It's called Cravings All Together. Chrissy, good morning. Uh, we should point out this is your very first television interview since the summer, and there was a there was a big kind of cyberbullying scandal then. Yes. So here you are. So I'm figuring since you're here, let's just talk about that of stuff. Of course, yeah. Um, you were accused of bullying some people mm -hmm. online on Twitter, and a lot of people took it very personally. Yes, they talked of about how painful it was. One person said that you said something to her, uh, to this person, saying, "quote." I can't wait for you to die. And you apologized, and you apologized profusely. And there are plenty of things where you said, I was mortified, I was insecure, I was, a tr I was an intention-seeking troll, I'm ashamed. Um, I just figure now we've had time to reflect, oh time goodness. to do the work. So did you ever get to, like, the bottom of, like, why, why did I do that stuff? I feel like there, there was honestly so much... Having this period of time and time to digest it all and to look back and to realize that... Honestly, there is always so much time to grow and to learn mm -hmm. and to become more empathetic and to just, I look at my kids and I look at what I want their values to be mm -hmm. and how I want them to treat people. And to see that in myself that I wasn't doing that, you know, was, I think the hardest part for me was, was realizing that, my goodness, like this really had an effect on people. I think I, I you know, I used to like kind of live in the internet days. I, I would honestly... Uh, you felt like you weren't talking to anybody. You just threw things out there. You didn't feel like anyone was going to read it. And then I kind of became the person that was that person that mm -hmm. people never thought was the messages weren't going to. Or, or you just kind of throw things out there and you don't know that you don't really impact. think about the impact and the person on the other side. And, like, I think about how much I've changed just in the past year mm -hmm. and how much I've grown and learned and then to think of that in the term of a, a lifetime, how much room there is to always no more well, and be better. Yeah. I think we're all different than we were 10 years ago. Absolutely. I mean, if, if everyone dug back into everyone's history and thought about, wait, well, these are the things I've said and mm -hmm. done and here they are I in front of you. I know the things I thought were funny or the things I thought, it's just... Well, you did talk about apologizing, mm -hmm. which I thought was important. You said, I've apologized publicly to one person, but there are others and more than just a few who I need to say I'm sorry for. Uh, I'm in the process of that. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to do that and how was that received? Yeah, I I've <clears> definitely, I wanted to make sure, first of all, that they were okay with me contacting them yeah. so of course like some people you know maybe they didn't they didn't want to be in contact with me or they just had gotten past it or mm -hmm. moved past it themselves um but yeah it was definitely it was nice to be able to have everybody's contact information and be able to reach out on my end and if they accepted mm -hmm. it then that's great but they didn't have to either so mm -hmm. so yeah you just kind of let people process the thing their, in their own way and i want to get to the to the cookbook and we're actually going to take a whole segment to cook right after awesome. this but you were talking about the cancel culture and mm -hmm. that was when Things got canceled, endorsements or TV gigs. Has everything, is it back in place for you now? Um, I mean, the thing that was important to me was realizing, you know, you don't really realize, you know, you, I think you learn so much in the moments where you do mm -hmm. lose so much. You lose mm -hmm. it all. Your world is kind of turned upside down. Um, for me, it was, it was a big moment of like, wow, I need to find out how I can be better, mm -hmm. how I can grow from this, learn from this. And honestly, I think, you know, you don't want to say, oh, there's that old cliche, like, mm -hmm. I'm glad it happened. Mm -hmm. But I was, I truly, it made me a stronger person, a better person. I, I, I realized that, mm -hmm. you know, I became, like, that's when I, I went sober. I went clean. I'm actually 100 days sober today. And I'm, like, so sober? excited. Yeah. <laughs> so wow. I feel so good. I, I feel very clear-headed. I feel very... I don't know. I just I, I feel like I've I've done the mm -hmm. work and I just hope these people can, you know, forgive and and be able to, mm -hmm. you know, welcome the fact that ho hopefully they've seen me be better. Well, 100 days sober. That's a congratulations. Thank you. Order. Uh, we're going to get to your cookbook right after this commercial, but you dedicate it to Jack. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was quite a year, huh? <laughs> yeah. To lose yeah. a child um, yeah. is, is yeah. a Yeah, and, and to not moment. have really processed that, mm -hmm. um, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to really to explain that to your children, what happened, and, and, it's, and to have to explain it to yourself, because a lot of it, you know, I threw myself into the cookbook mm -hmm. um, instead of processing mm -hmm. it. Um, so, yeah, it took a lot of therapy, a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, I, mm -hmm. I, I needed to be clear. That's why, honestly, going sober was so important, was it, I needed to be clear-headed. I needed to be able to understand what I was taking in in therapy and really absorb it instead of, uh, 
like, you mm -hmm. know, just hiding behind alcohol. Well, it seems like there's a, a brighter new you sitting here before I me. I really feel good. Um, I do. Uh, <laughs> I want to say congratulations on the cookbook. Thank you. And I do think, people, these are comfort food recipes we want to learn about. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.